know, come back. Yes, uh, I think uh, Dr. Somani gave us time to, to take that break. I, I hope you can hear me now. Are you back? Yeah, great. <laughs> so I was asking, uh, now we notice that the inflation pressure is going, is, is reducing a second time, a second month uh, uh, this time around. Can we say that inflation has peaked in Nigeria? Uh, that's an interesting question. In it. Let me start by saying, you know, we expected inflation to uh, increase by around 100 business point, 100 percentage points to 34.25%. Uh, but we saw uh, even better inflation numbers. Inflation came in at 33.69%. Uh, and like you mentioned, uh, um, and rightly, in a, is we are, we are seeing a positive trend. We are seeing that the, the rate of increase or the pace of increase in inflation is declining. That is month-on-month -month inflation. It appears that on a monthly basis, inflation peaked in February, it appears so we're going to have to wait some more time to be able to confirm that. But since February, we had month to month inflation was 3.12%. And then in March, it reduced to 3.02%. And then in April, it's, it, it's reduced further to 2.29%, which kind of suggests that the, the, the inflation is losing steam. And uh, uh, if this trend persists, then we might see uh, headline inflation peak around uh, at the end of uh, H2, and then we might begin to see inflation trend downwards. Mm. But um, is this reflecting in the cost of goods? Th I think that's what Nigerians want to know. Um, let me start by saying, first of all, that prices are sticky. So by, by sticky, I mean that, you know, when prices increase, they do not decline as quickly as they increase or did not they do not come back down as quickly as the economic conditions are, are, are changed for many reasons which i'm not going to go into now but we are going to begin to see uh, uh, uh prices decline once the the reduction in headline inflation becomes persistent once we see a change in the in in the coverture once inflation peaks and begins to decline then uh, commodity prices would also declare. Mind you, we are currently in a, a, a planting season, which is notoriously associated with a scarcity of commodities. Now, if you look at the price of some domestic commodities, particularly those that are grown uh, domestically, you are going to see that the price of most of them are trending upwards, signifying the seasonality in these uh, agricultural commodities. But once uh, the harvest comes in a few months, and once the, this trend uh, in inflation persists, once the pace of increase in inflation begins to trend downwards, we're going to see the price of domestic commodities also trend downwards. Yeah, I wonder how long we'll have to wait for that, because when it was going upwards, Prices just followed up, <laughs> upwards. But U.S. inflation also moderated yeah, yesterday. We saw the numbers. Uh, well, I think the natural expectation from this is that interest rate cuts should start, perhaps by the September, which a lot of analysts have placed. But um, what, what is this doing to us? What is it doing, especially, of course, to the value of the dollar? And then it, it, it is spill over to countries like Nigeria. Uh, let me start by saying uh, for the U.S. inflation, this is what we call the last mile. It was easier to bring inflation down from the 40-year high we had around nine, uh, two years ago, 9.1 percent, to uh, closer to the uh, long-term or long-run inflation target of 2 percent. But then now bringing this last mile, bringing it from 3 percent down to 2 percent has been a challenge. For the past couple of months, we've seen inflation uh, increase and decrease. So we've not seen a persistent trend in U.S. inflation, we've seen it yo-yo between 3% and 4%. And uh, you can argue that that is single-handedly the, 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 the most important factor in, in driving the, 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 what's the, word, the, the path of uh, U.S. Fed uh, interest rate. At the moment, I think what's happening is U.S. Fed officials are just waiting to see a persistent trend, that one trend in headline inflation before then they begin to, before they begin to then cut uh, 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 benchmark uh, interest rates. Now, in terms of the implications for us, at the moment, uh, uh, the, 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 the interest rate numbers are going to be held higher for longer until we begin to see a sustainable downward trend in U.S. inflation. And once they begin to cut uh, inflation towards Q3, as you rightly said, that is if inflation trends downwards consistently and they are happy with the pace of the, the pace and the outlook of inflation, then it has implications for countries like Nigeria, for example, in terms of foreign portfolio investment. Uh, so Nigeria's uh, 
uh, Nigeria's uh, what's the word now? Uh, 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 um, government papers, treasury bills, or more uh, uh, bonds will become more attractive to, to 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 foreign investors. Also, given that Nigeria has significantly increased its own benchmark interest rates. Uh, so, for instance, uh, the 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 one. 365 day bill, uh, treasury bill is around 21%, and almost one year OMO bill is around 17%. So, with those attractive rates and the US cutting their interest rate, you might begin to see foreign portfolio investment coming. Also, it has implications for oil prices. Uh, the cuts in uh, 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 US interest rates might you know, stimulate economic activity, which would increase all demand growth are uh, taking that in addition to OPEX uh, cuts or OPEX production cuts, our uh, oil prices will increase, which is positive for Nigeria if we can increase our production as well. Yeah, and if right there. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Adesola Simone, for your time. Thank you for having me. Let's take a break. When we come back, uh, recapitalization is still very much uh, in current conversations. I will delve into that in just a moment. Do join us again.